Hey everybody, welcome to Q&A. This week's question comes in from Audrey again from Huntington Beach. Audrey asks, can you explain some of the contingencies that allow you to back out of a wholesale deal with a seller if needed? Well, you know, you want to make sure you have a strong contract that, that protects you as well, that you have these simple clauses in there that, that are there for a purpose. Now, some people will, you know, they don't like them and they say, you know, I'm not talking about other investors and they call them weasel clauses and escape clauses and everything. I'll tell you what, they're real cover your ass clauses. I've never really used them in, in a wholesale deal because I've always made sure it was a good deal and I've always been able to move it. But in other type deals where I was early on, especially when I was buying uh, rental properties and I had a deal that I was buying and the uh, brothers that were selling it, um, they had some beef with a, another bank that you know they owed something on. Anyway, this other bank found out that they were selling this property to me and they were going to get some money out of it and the bank held up the closing and made all kinds of trouble and demanded to get paid and it was going to delay it for months and we were all ready to close on it so my realtor said you know i was using a realtor at the time and she says that uh well you know i don't know what we're going to do you're going to have to you know oh i think it was an issue with the there was already an appraisal done and they're wanting me to pay the appraisal or pay half the appraisal and i told them i told the realtor i said well look at my contract I've got this clause in here that says, you know, that if I don't agree with this or something or another, I can get out of it. And she says, yep, you're right. So I got out of it, didn't have to pay hundreds of dollars towards an appraisal because of the bank holding up their closing and that. So they do come in handy. They are useful. As far as some of the clauses, of course, you know, you have the, the by your signature, you have it say, you know, and are assigned slash nominee so that you can assign it or you can nominate somebody to come on and partner with you on a deal. Uh, other clauses that I, I have in all my contracts are, you know, the, the typical what they, you know, people fret about the weasel clauses. I have it in there that, you know, if my partner has to have my signature and approval uh, of my partner agreeing that they like the deal. If my partner doesn't agree, then I get out of the deal. I have it contingent on a, an inspection. If I inspect it and I don't like what I find in the in, inspection or have you know professional inspection done and I don't like the results of it, then I have to sign off on that. If I approve it, otherwise I, I can get out of the deal. Um, you know, I just have some basic ones like that in there that, that protect you that are there for a purpose.